Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are reviewing the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. If you want to know how this foundation looked on my oily, acne-prone skin, then keep on watching. when I get to edit this video, it might be already April. This Sephora foundation is supposed to be for the month of March. Sephora's best skin ever. I believe this came out like sometime late last year in December or early January of this year. Just the basics about this foundation. It has 50 shades. It claims to have a natural finish, medium coverage, long wearing, anti-pollution, with skincare benefits such as red algae and hyaluronic acid, which hydrates the skin up to 12 hours. So part of the skincare benefits is that your face is supposed to look smoother after continued use for 28 days. And actually, based on the survey that Sephora has on their website, 100% of the women who tried and tested this for 28 days actually agree so 100% that's a big claim I can't really speak for that because I haven't used this daily for 28 days I know I've used it for 10 days at least minimum for this month definitely it feels good on the skin I can definitely see the hydrating benefits you know me when it comes to foundation reviews I don't do first impressions because there's so many factors involved and even with like 10 days of use i know there are other combinations that i probably haven't tried and realistically you don't really use foundation on its own you're going to have a moisturizer on you're going to have your skincare your spf on so those need to be tested with the foundation with that said i do have the foundation on i love how it looks on the skin today it, I do have a full face of makeup on, but everything looks so beautiful. Like, I'm impressed. I feel like this is the best that it's ever been. So let me tell you what I have on before we move forward. I've had this foundation on for at least two hours already. Um, this is like the second video that I'm filming. I have my moisturizer on with SPF. I also have... I can't find it right now in this mess of makeup, but for primer, I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, I'll have a picture of it right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried now. Where is it? I think it did wonders for this foundation. <laughs> it's my first time using it, and wow, Tatcha, wow. Hmm. So, we have Tatcha, um, the silk canvas, very popular, cult favorite, but it's like overly expensive. And I think I'm starting to realize why. Um, the other thing that I have on are two types of concealers. I'm just pushing this to the limit, right? Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer and the Matte Studio Fix Plus Concealer. Now, this is new from Tarte, the Hydrating Shape Tape my thoughts on it so far i'm really loving it but the mac 24 hour studio fix actually has more coverage let me switch it up this side has the mac this side has the tarte creamy concealer and um i like this eye a little bit better if you guys haven't watched my big thank you video to my girls on youtube they got together and got me a beautiful present which is sitting right here this nice jewelry box right now i hope you guys can see that but um watch that video because i unboxed their present among other things and i use this juvia's place palette and this is what i have on today this silver and this red right here on my eyes i just used up all the browns and oranges together to do my crease so that's all I have. I love how the look turned out. This Nubian 3 Coral 
has amazing, amazing shimmers. Like all their shimmers are so good. I love this. I thank you so much to my girls for giving me this palette. I can't wait to keep using it even more. Then if you haven't heard me rave and talk about Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty left and right, one of the things that I bought during the sale, the Ofra highlighters. They are beautiful and I got two. <laughs> I got one in Rodeo Drive and I got the Beverly Hills highlighter. If one of the shades here in the Beverly Hills looks the same as Rodeo Drive, I would definitely end up returning Rodeo Drive because I don't need dupes. However, none of them look exactly the same and I need all colors. <laughs> you won't regret the quality. Every single shade was popping um, everywhere on my face. Like I love the nose highlight right now. I use the icy one, the white, the lightest one, and it still works. Back to the Sephora best skin ever. Today is definitely the best skin ever that I've had with this foundation. I've tried it with a lot of different types of moisturizers, a lot of different types of primers. Um, with moisturizer, I feel like it definitely gives you a radiant finish, but the kind that I really like. It's not the kind that makes you feel oily or greasy. Um, so I love that, but the lasting power isn't that long. I felt like it lasted the least on my skin, maybe four hours tops. I have blemishes that I cover and even with concealer, it just slowly started peeking through. I think if you have dry skin, this is a good foundation for you. Now, with moisturizer and pore fillers, like I use the Cover FX Blurring Primer with a pore filler, I feel like it didn't show my pores as much. So it looked better compared to just having moisturizer on, but sometimes I feel like it is just sitting on top of my skin. Now with this foundation, I have to warn you um, that it really has a tendency to sit on top of the skin unless you buff it in a lot. Now I would buff and buff and it would still be just moving around, moving around on top of my skin. Like it wouldn't push into the skin, which is weird to me. I prefer using a sponge more than a brush for sure. It's one of those foundations that took longer to put on for me because it just would not sink in. So that could be a deal breaker depending on your skin type. I actually used it with a very hydrating oil or serum and I used the Delia Rejuvenating Serum right here. I love this serum for the morning time when your skin feels really dry. It's just a good pick-me-upper without making you look oily. I love this serum from Delia and I cannot wait. I'm getting another one from them next month. So I'm excited to talk about that. I feel like that is my fa most favorite combination. Um, it really looks nice on the skin. Really makes the foundation sink into the skin more. Um, I find this foundation looks better after one hour, after it's had a chance to just sink into the skin, to combine with your oils more. So in a nutshell, um, would I recommend this foundation? Definitely, it's a good foundation for the price. Is it a natural finish? Yes. It's a natural finish. It doesn't make you dewy or luminous. It doesn't make you look entirely matte as well. So I love this natural finish. Is it long lasting? No. At least for my oily combination skin, it doesn't last me more than five hours. If you have great skin, this is definitely a good one for you. Um, hydrating benefits hyaluronic acid. I love that it's anti-pollution. It's also non-comedogenic. So it's perfect for those of you who have acne prone skin. It's not going to break you out. Definitely never broke me out. It felt light on the skin. Is it medium coverage? Definitely. It's a strong, strong medium coverage. I feel like it's 
um, a bit more coverage than the Fenty powder foundation. If you want to know my thoughts about this Fenty powder foundation, I did a review on it, but I did combine the two because this one doesn't have like the most lasting power. I loved it as a touch up. So if not as a touch up, this would end up being my powder on top of this foundation because I always set my foundations with a powder anyway. So these two combined is a match made in heaven for me. It gave me basically the medium to full coverage that I needed, especially when I had like a lot of breakouts. So I really enjoy this. They work well together. This foundation isn't finicky at all like some other foundations. Can you build it up? I would say no. I've tried it. It just makes your face more cakey. So I wouldn't suggest building it up. I would just build it up with a powder foundation. So I think that sums it up for you. It lasts four to five hours um, for my skin type. It gets better and looks better at the two hour mark. Like what you're seeing right now is wow. I am just so impressed at how this foundation looks right now. I did not use the Fenty one. I just set it with a powder. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this foundation review. And just as a quick sneak peek preview, next month, April, is going to be the new foundation from Huda, the Huda Luminous Matte Foundation. So it's supposed to be full coverage. I am missing my full coverage. Comment down below if you're a full coverage gal. I've been testing kind of medium to full coverage foundations in the last three months. And um, I am ready for a full coverage foundation. Now, how can a foundation be matte and luminous at the same time? That just baffles me, but we'll definitely find out for sure if the claims are true. So be on the lookout for my next foundation review by Huda. This arrived in the mail last weekend. So I am so excited and look at the packaging. It's gorgeous. <gasps> If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews, as well as some unboxings here and there. Subscribe. We are so close to 1,000. Oh my gosh. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe. Like 70% of you guys watch my videos but aren't subscribed. So please, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. There's always something to learn here on my channel and with that said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye